Hey guys, what's up? This is Plays the Movie Film, and it's time for another episode review. This time I will be reviewing the South Park episode Two Naked Guys in a Top. So Stan's family is basically invited to a party at Mr. Maggie's place. Unfortunately for Stan, he has to be in the basement with Butters, Pip and Doggy. And I will admit, I do feel sorry for Stan for having to be with those fucking losers. Though I totally understand why he isn't allowed to be in the party. I mean, after all, or, that party is for fucking adults. And the adults want to get break from their children during the party. But anyway, Stan totally ignores those losers and wants nothing to do with them. That totally makes sense and Stan is a lot smarter than those fucking losers. But anyway, back at the party, the people there and really enjoy the fucking party. And there is also a fucking hot tub. But the only two people who are interested in using that tub are Randy and Gerard. And those two have some interesting conversations in that tub. And yeah, I really do like the scene where those two are in the tub. Now even though the episode is titled Two Naked Guys in a Tub, There is really only one scene in the entire episode that's about that. But it does affect the rest of the episode, so it makes sense to call the episode that. Anyway, Randy and Gerald decide to fucking masturbate in the tub. Randy feels so ashamed of it that he tries to ignore Gerald throughout the rest of the party. Which is totally understandable because most people would masturbate privately. And for good damn good reasons too. Because masturbation is something that should only be done privately. Anyway, back in the basement, Stan is still annoyed by those losers and wants nothing to do with them. But when Pip, Butters and Doki want to play a game with him, want to play a game with him, Stan takes a fucking advantage of that so he can get upstairs. Now for the beginning of the episode Stan was complaining that he couldn't be part of that fucking awesome party. But he doesn't really do anything when he is finally upstairs. In fact, he just goes to make or mark his room and watch this fucking TV. Though I understand exactly why though. I am sure the adults would not be okay with if Stan got upstairs. I mean after all, they are trying to take break from children. Anyway, the ATF is outside the fucking party and even threaten the people who are trying to have a good time at the party. Wow, those ATF agents are a bunch of fucking morons, especially the leader. Apparently those fucking morons think that the party guests are having a religious cult. Now the guy behind that whole fucking operation is either a hardcore Christian or a religious extremist. I don't know which, but I'm sure that he is either of those two things. Seriously, why the fuck would he even have that idea? Now even though I do think that it's stupid that the ATF is after the party guests for some stupid reason, I will admit. This does add something to the episode. This isn't just an ordinary episode that's just about a fucking party. 
There are also Asians that are after the party guests. And that really does make this episode more fucking intense and not to mention more interesting. And that is fucking awesome. Anyway, those fucking morons shoot anybody who dares to go outside the front door. Stan notices that and wants to somehow convince those Asians that the party guests are fucking innocent. But it's not very easy for him unfortunately. He knows that if he goes through the front door he is going to be fucking shot. Now it was not easy for Stan to think of a plan, but he gets the perfect fucking plan. Basically he records a video inside the house and puts it on a fucking tape. And then he uses rope from the window in Mr. Matty's bedroom and Butters sneaks out from there without the Asians noticing and gives the news report of the tape. And wow, that tape really fucking sold everything. And the Asians leave. I'm glad that the Asians left after realizing that the party guests are innocent people. It doesn't change the fact that they are still fucking morons for being after them in the first place. Anyway, after Randy admits that he and Geralt have been masturbating in the tub, the rest of the party guests say that they are guilty of seeing someone masturbating as well. So there is nothing particularly wrong with that. Now, I still stick to what I said earlier in the video that most people masturbate privately. After the party is over, Stan admits that Pip, Butters and Doki are not as bad as he thought. Just to think that they are fucking losers immediately after that. So that's basically where the episode ends. Well, now it's time for my overall thoughts. This is possibly the best episode I have ever seen about a party. At least at the top of my head. Because there is more to this episode than just the fucking party. There are also moronic ATF Asians after the party guests for stupid reasons. But those Asians made this episode way more fucking intense and not to mention bad ass. So yeah, this episode is a lot of fun, so I'm going to give this episode two thumbs up. Well guys, that's all I gotta say. Thank you for watching, have a great day.